Uh, today's tutorial is going to be going over how to spell check or check a spelling of a word uh, from the command line. I'm going to be using a program called A Spell. Um, on my system, on Linux Mint 11, it seemed to have already been installed. Um, but if not, it'll probably be in your repositories. Uh, if you're running a Debian based system, you can use Aptitude or Apt-to-get or whatever package manager you like to find it. Um, and if you were to use Aptitude and um, search for a spell, oops. you can see there's a lot of different language packages. So the language package for the default language in your system probably is already installed. As you can see, I've got a spell installed and a spell English right there. And uh, let's go ahead and use it. So the way we're going to use it today, and it has more features than what we're going to go over, we're going to go over some very basic stuff today. We're going to say a spell dash a, and then we're going to do three less than signs, and then a string or a word that we want to spell check. So in this case, we'll say test. Doesn't give us any really output because test is found in the dictionary. If I misspell this and I actually put a d in there and I hit this, you can see it gives you a bunch of possible spellings for what you're trying to spell. Some make more sense than others and probably the one you're looking for is probably going to be one of the first ones is what I would assume. So uh, let's uh, try this again. Let me try to spell something wrong. How about program? There's program. So it was the third one on the list there. Uh, let's say I try to spell and I'm misspelling Linux. Let's say I type in Linux. Let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. Linux is number two. Lynx is number one. Or actually, actually Linux, I think, is a word, or at least a name. Uh, so that's how that program works. You can definitely play around with it more, probably has other features, and you can definitely, uh, you know, use a script to sort through this. And so you could take a, a Word document or, or a text file, or a Word document that you convert to text, and search through it and uh, have it, you know, notify you of any misspelled words. In fact, that might be a project I work on in the future. That'd be a fun little script. Shouldn't be too hard to write. Anyway, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.